tonight we celebrate virtual YouTube course. I'm here to let you know, whatever you wanna do, you can do it. And that's that. Like, people are younger than me making six figures. Like, I love that for them. I ain't never been no hater. I love to see people just like living their best life. And I made six figures at 23. Come correct. Okay. YouTube is a blessing. Like, I literally can pay my rent from just YouTube. These niggas cold as and I should go back. I should. Like, older people be looking at us, young people, like, we ain't got no money. But these days, we, we the ones with all the money. Okay? Walk in your trap and take over. Over. Name another Name another cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. And that bitch ain't even gonna hold it. And that bitch thought that it's. Hey, Bougie Bags. It's the Barbie, and I am back with another video for a time subscriber. Hey, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. Enjoy that Bougie Girl. Because it's a Bougie Wear No Way, period. Right, Prince? So, we are taking Prince to get a bath today. And then. I'm on my way to get my nails done, my toes done. I'm only getting a fill today and I'm only getting a regular pedicure today because I don't need a, a brand new pedicure. So what I do is, this is what I do. So I go when I need, okay, so make so make it seem like it's a, I need, it's a full set day. So if it's a full set day, then I get the full pedicure. But if it's a fill day, I just get the short pedicure. <laughs> I get the little, the little, the BS pedicure. Cause I really just need my toes fixed. I really don't even need a feel. I cracked like two of my toes, so I need them fixed. So that's really that, like, you know? And then I need a wax, like an eyebrow wax. I need an eyebrow wax and um, a lip wax. So today is just fill day and probably $30 pedicure day. I usually get like a $50 pedicure, but that's not today. And then my feel probably gonna be like $80 today. Cause you know I always spend like $300 at the nail shop. That's not today. I like these days when I don't have to spend that much. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go. So today Prince is just getting a bath and a blueberry facial. Um Actually, he needs teeth brushing too. I forgot to tell you. Cause he usually, I usually just be adding a whole bunch of stuff, massage, everything. Cause they do everything over there. I usually add color, but he doesn't need any color because I really need his color to grow out so he can really get like an actual whole new color without it making, you know, two colors. Cause right now he's purple and blue. So, I liked when he was red. When he had that red, it was so cute. Um, people be thinking, people be like, people be like, did you dye your hair? Did you dye your dog's hair by yourself? No, I did not. I don't have time to be doing it. I did not do that. I did not get down and dirty. They did it. He be squirming everywhere, and I wish he would do it to me because I'm gonna be mad. So, yeah, I can't wait to get a girl one. So when I move. When I move, Bay is gonna get me a girl, Yorkie. I'm gonna have a boy and a girl. And I can't wait to have a girl because she's gonna dress so cute. Like, she's gonna be so cute. <sighs> Don't mind my hair, y'all. Do not mind my hair. But, let's see what I need to talk to y'all about. Um, My course drops tomorrow, which is April 1st. Tomorrow's April 1st. Um. Yes, tomorrow. She texts me. Hey, friend, where you at yesterday? She texts me. She must text the wrong phone. Let me call her. You text me yesterday? Bitch. Yes. <laughs> You not text you. No, you text the wrong phone. Cause I'm looking at my business phone right now and it's a message from you, not from my other phone. Not my <laughs> not my two one four. You text my business phone. Damn. That's your bad. <laughs> but uh, uh uh. Okay, y'all, so I just got the phone with Danny. So we um are actually going to celebrate me bringing in my new course tonight. So we're gonna go somewhere tonight. Probably with my man. And like, you know, like we usually do. 
because it's like because right. I'm always with my man anyways like every time I go out I'm with my man and his friends and then my friends because they want to come we're probably gonna go somewhere tonight to bring in my new course um, my new YouTube course I just love celebrating everything I celebrate every elevation that happens in my life you know what I'm saying like this is another elevation because I know I'm gonna go up with this virtual YouTube course so I like to celebrate everything because life is about celebrating it's about being happy it's about living it's about being great so anytime I do something best believe Barb is going to celebrate it okay Barb loves to celebrate Barb loves a celebration so you know we're gonna celebrate tonight um I'm trying to think what I'm gonna wear tonight because I'm trying to be cute you know um because I need y'all to record me and stuff like that not y'all but you know the people that I believe so me and Bagel supposed to go out last night but we fell asleep well I'm not gonna say we because he fell asleep I was getting ready he was like it took you forever to get ready that's why I fell asleep I, no don't try to blame it on me you went to sleep while I was getting ready it only took me, you said we was leaving the house by 11.30. I got done like right at 11.30. So for you to go to sleep and you thought I was gonna wake you up, when me when me getting in the bed, my body movement, me getting in the bed should've woke you up. If it didn't wake you up, that means you was too tired and that means you didn't need, need to go to work. No way, anyway, okay? So, um, yeah, Danny had texted this the wrong phone, asked me where I was at last night. But I'm gonna be asleep anyway. But anyway, so y'all, tonight we celebrate virtual YouTube course 197 for 72 hours only. After that, it goes up to 297. It's not going back down. Um, I'm excited. It has so much stuff in this course, from equipment to editing to how to gain confidence to how to deal with negative comments. I always have to put that in there for y'all because a lot of people don't ever do that. They don't tell y'all the bad side of it. Like you know what I'm saying? They always just try to make it seem good. Blah blah. blah. It just gets straight to the point. But in my courses, I always tell y'all, okay, this is the bad side about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I always try to explain it in my courses because it's not gonna all, it's not gonna always be peaches and cream when it comes to you know starting something new. You know, like it's gonna be people that like that's gonna, that's gonna try to hold you back. People that's gonna try to make you feel like you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need to be doing it. People that's gonna make you seem like you don't have the personality for that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they just gonna make you feel like it's HRT. But I'm here to let you know, whatever you want to do, you can do it. And that's that. Updates on me moving. I can give y'all a bit on that. So I'm still moving. I'm moving in a couple months, actually. Um, I had a real realtor looking for me some stuff, but she haven't sent me. Like she sent me some stuff at first. She was like, send me back which one of these that you like. She was like, send me which one of these houses you like. Like send me these different houses that you like. And then that's gonna help me be able to look for your new place. So I sent her that and then she still haven't sent me nothing. So now I feel like I have to start looking for stuff because I was dependent on that. But I don't know if she's just like waiting or what. Like I really don't know because she not really be texted back, so I don't know. Somebody referred me to her because she's a, she's an Atlanta realtor, and somebody had um, referred me to her. So I don't know, like y'all, I really don't know. So I really th think I need to start looking by myself. But I need a three bedroom, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Three bedroom. Um, I want windows everywhere. Um, what else? Like, I just want a nice three bedroom because I'm gonna have a pink room and I'm so excited because I'm gonna have this room that's all pink and that's gonna be where I that's gonna be where I film, where I just do everything at. You know what I'm saying? That's where I work, where I everything. So I'm gonna have my pink room, the bedroom, and then the guest room because of course I'm gonna always be having company. Like my mama gonna be flying out, my brother's gonna be flying out, friends, like you know what I'm saying? So I wanna have somewhere for them to stay comfortable, like for them to be comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So and I'm gonna have my guest room. My guest room is so cute. So that black bed and stuff, this one's on my guest room. And I'm getting a brand new bed. Um, brand new living room stuff because I think I'm gonna do white, white royal blue, white royal blue in gold or silver. And I'm gonna get this big old Chanel, like this nice Chanel like stand. It's so cute. 
So this this place is gonna be very very like elegant top tier. Okay, like it's gonna be looking so expensive in there, and I can't wait. Like I'm gonna have the big vases. Like I'm so excited to move. Like I, I cannot wait for my, my new place. Like I'm growing up. I'm gonna be 25. Like you know, it's just so much more. It's just so much stuff that I just have to accomplish. Like you know, before. I turn 30 like I'm really gonna be 30 in a minute like I'm gonna be 25 so when I when I say 25 it, I really feel like I'm gonna be 30 because 25 is like almost there you know so you know I'm about to be you know it's just life is getting real like you know what I'm saying like when you in your early 20s you still feel like you know cool which is still cool you know what I'm saying to still do a whole bunch of stuff like party and stuff which I love to party and have fun and stuff like that but I'm just saying like I'm starting to get like grown grown you know what I'm saying like you know I can't wait to just travel I can't wait to eventually like get married get a big house have kids like I cannot wait for that you know because it's, it's that part is coming like I don't want to have kids right now I definitely don't want to have no kid right now because I just feel like I'm still in my prime like I'm still I don't feel like I don't want to deal with that right now I don't want to deal with no crime baby I don't want to deal with no baby right now period if we be real i don't feel like dealing with no baby right now i'm having fun okay i'm having fun i'm moving around i don't want to be moving around from different city states with a baby you know what i'm saying like i can do whatever i please period i know some of y'all might get y'all toes stepped on when i say this but I can say what I want to say. This is in re this is in regards to me. I'm not speaking down on nobody that got kids who want to have kids. I don't care. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. I don't want to be moving around with no children. I don't want to be waking up early to go get pick up no child, drop no child off. I don't want to do that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to do that right now. Like I don't want to be taking care of no kid right now. It's just not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. like i'm still having fun like i said i'm still moving around like after i live in atlanta for a little bit i might want to move to miami i might want to move to la like i'm not like i'm still just i'm still just like living just me you know like i don't have to ask nobody to you know what i'm saying like i don't have to wait around for nobody like i just go i could just do whatever i please whenever i want to and that's what I love about it. I just love that my life is just like, the lifestyle that I have now, like it's just so, it's a blessing to be able to do like whatever, whenever. Don't have the answer to nobody. Like it's just a blessing. Like I've always wanted to live this life and it's finally here. It's finally here. And it's only gonna, it's only gonna get better. Like I'm only gonna, get bigger and better like makes i'm only gonna make more money like i'm never gonna you know i'm never going to like be content i'm always gonna be better than who i was yesterday like i'm gonna just keep going up going up going up going up going up going up, going up for real like for real barbie all right i'll take you um, let me just get a kids meal, um, like six piece, yeah, okay. and a lemonade. It actually comes with the five pieces, is that okay? Yeah, that's right. fine. Any sauces? A Chick fil A sauce. All right, it's gonna be 551 cash or card. Card, I hey, have a good one. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so I was just like saying, like, my life is like my lifestyle is just like. I just love it like it's a blessing and i don't ever complain about my lifestyle i know i'm always busy i can't complain about that because this is what i wanted like i i prayed for busy busy pay boss okay so but at the same time i still get to balance and have fun and travel you know what i'm saying like i can't wait to my birthday like i want to go to greece for my birthday and i'm going to greece for my birthday period unless something happened with the world to where we get shut down or whatever but other than that it's greece for my birthday i can't wait to go to greece so basically for my 25th birthday oh my god it's gonna be such a like adventure <laughs> so i know i'm already been on moon by the end so i don't know if i'm gonna come back to dallas and celebrate with my friends for one day 
and then like i don't know so i might i don't know but i know i'm gonna party from that friday so let's see when my birthday is because it's on the 10th so it's august 10th right so my birthday is on a wednesday so i'm gonna party from the 5th which is that friday so the 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th all the way into that friday because my mama's birthday is Saturday. <laughs> my birthday is Friday. My mama's birthday is Saturday. But before that, the week before that, that Friday, that's when I'm going to be partying nonstop. Like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Friday, Saturday. So Friday, Saturday, I'll still be, you know, in the States. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, I mean, yeah, till Thursday. So from probably Sunday to Thursday, I'll be in Greece. And then I'll come back. Friday or Saturday morning or something like that. Celebrate my mom here. And yeah. So August is gonna be a big month for me. I'm gonna turn, I'm turning 25, y'all. I'm just getting up there. And I feel good. Like for me to only be 24 and to be living like I'm living, making the type of money I'm making, like so my boyfriend, his homeboy was like, Yeah, we we making six figures at we only 24, you know what I'm saying? Making six figures. Like, people ain't making six figures today. People that start making six figures today turn 40, 50, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's just because nowadays it's different. Like, this generation, like, it's just so different. So, <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. So yeah, it's like different these days. Like it's so different. Like can y'all imagine next generation and next generation? Like it's like a lot of business owners. Like people just want to live for themselves and not live for like, you know, they want to make themselves rich, not make other people rich. Like, and it's okay. It's okay to be 30, 40, making six figures. At least you making six figures, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like these days, people are young. Like, people are younger than me making six figures. Like that's lit, okay? Even more like millionaires, like people younger than me, millionaires. And I'm not saying like people that that's like celebrities. I'm saying people that really got it out the mud, people that really started the business and just literally like worked for it. And they are millionaires and they are and they make money at their age and they never have to work again and they only like 19, 20, 21. Like that's lit to me. I love that. I love that for them. I ain't never been no hater. I love to see people just like living their best life and you know what I'm saying like that's just lit like I said it's different these days like I never would have thought so soon I would be making six figures at 24 really 23 I made six figures at 23 come correct Okay. And just like I was telling people on my YouTube, like, I mean, on my YouTube course, like, I'm, YouTube is a blessing. Like, I literally can pay my rent from just YouTube. Like, my YouTube check pays my rent. And that's a blessing. Like, a check, like, I literally get paid. I literally, my rent literally get paid just for me making videos and doing what I love to do. I love making videos. I love recording myself. I love all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? These niggas cold as and I should go back. I should. But yeah, like I was saying, like. It's a blessing to me. I've been making like. It's just a blessing to be able to be in this position. You know? It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be in a position like this to where I live how I want to live. I move how I want to move. I don't stress about bills, like bills getting paid. Like, like I said, my YouTube just by itself pays my rent. And it's a blessing. Like, I remember I used to work my nine to five. And I used to put, have to put up two weeks two weeks worth of check. Like, right, okay, this is for my rent. So when I get paid this next week, it's for me. I can do whatever I want to do. Now I don't even live like that no more. I don't even live like that no more. 
blessed and highly favored. And I just know, like, I'm gonna just be making so much money. I can just feel it. I gotta hit seven figures before I turn 25. I got some months to go. I can do it. I know I can. Somebody asked me how did, how did I get my mom to how did I get my mom to be like what did they say? Something like a part of my success. Like how how did I get my mom support? Like my mom, she really always been supporting me with everything, you know? My mom had just been supporting me just from the jump, like I didn't ask her to support me. She just supported me. We always just had that connection. Me and my mama always been like this. Since for years, since before, probably before middle school, we've always been like this. Like, the way my, my mama raised me, like, she always, like, raised me to be, like, independent, get shit done, don't depend on nobody. She always told me these things all the time. Don't ever depend on nobody. Get your own money. Get your own this, this, and that. You ain't got to worry about nobody trying to take it from you. You ain't got to worry about nobody trying to tell you, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know? My mama always been like, she always been telling me this since I was legit. Like, since I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just ran with it. I literally ran with it. So, if it wasn't for my mama, I honestly don't know where I would be. Cause my mama been supporting me since I was just so like my mama been like you know what I'm saying like we like this that's like my best friend like I tell her any and every secret no matter how dirty it get we talk about everything that's my dog I can tell her anything I will never she will never judge me she gonna tell me how it is she gonna tell me if I'm wrong she gonna tell me her right and yeah. Sarah calling me. I'm walking in now. Sarah calling me now. My appointment at 12. It's 12 oh six. Bye y'all. Ready? Go. <laughs> that hurt. You do it too slow. Oh my god. You're supposed to snatch it off fast. I said ready, let go. And then quick. Over here don't hurt. Oh your hair. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I do my hair. Mm. Mm. And you don't go nowhere, Becky. Send on show. Mm -mm. My son goes to Cancun on May. Really? Uh huh. Come May, the end May, and come back on June fifth. Mm -hmm. I don't want no plucky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it hurt. Okay. Oh my God! You got glue on my hair. Your little wax stuff. You see that? You see what you did? I'm gonna have to comb it with a comb. What's up? You got it out? Yes. I got it right here. Uh oh. Everything came out to even 200 today, including tips. So that's how much everything came out to. Um, I'm about to go home and do my hair, edit this video, go home and do my hair, and get ready for tonight. Everybody always stop me, stop me in the nail shop. I'm like, oh my God, can I see your nails? Can I see your nails? And they keep asking me, is this your birthday? This is not my birthday. This is just how I am. This lady that I seen last time, she was there. She was like, you are so, she was like, let me see your nails again. She was like, you are so jazzy. Like, you, she was like, do you just, do you be going out? Like, what do you be doing? Like, I just, I mean, this is just me every day. Okay. She was like, you be coming every two weeks. Yeah, basically. I mean, yeah. When my nails start lifting, that's when I come back, honestly. Like, if my nails lasting, I won't come back. Like, me, it just really depends. Like, if my nails not lifting and they still look good, I keep my nails on until I'm really tired of seeing them. I'm like, okay, I don't need to get my nails on. But my last set, I loved that set. But my nails, like, one of them was lifting and then my rhinestone, my rhinestone was coming off. So I was like, it's time for, um, it's time for a new, um, set or whatever so that's why i went and got my nails and say and my toe toenail was chipped like it was a lot going on okay and i cannot be walking around like that y'all one thing about me like y'all already know me y'all know i cannot be walking around with no broken nails and y'all know i cannot be walking around with no chipped toenails looking at me it's like i cannot i'm not doing it i don't care so i'm probably gonna do my hair i'm gonna put another wig on probably like a curly wig or something i don't know i don't know how i'm feeling so I'm gonna do my hair. Nails done, toes done, hair done, period. Stay done. But I think I'm about to end this nail vlog. I'm gonna show y'all my nails when I get home and then I'm gonna end the vlog. But yeah. Oh, and then that's what I meant to tell y'all too. When I was um getting my um <laughs> when I was getting my nails and I was thinking about it, like the reason the reason why my boyfriend homeboy said to the restaurant, like saying that, you know, we make six figures at 24, like you know what I'm saying, popping shit because the servers, the bartenders, they weren't trying to give us no service. I guess because they thought we was young and we didn't have no money or something. Like, they just kept ignoring us. But when other people would come in, they'll be talking to them, greeting them. But us, this is the second time we done been there and they just take their time with us or they just ignore us. And we like, do y'all think we ain't got no money or something? Like, y'all, with this poor service this time, y'all not going to get tipped. Because my man tips good. Okay, my man got money. Don't ever play with him. Okay? Y'all, like, older people be looking at us, young people, like, we ain't got no money. But these days, we, we the ones with all the money, okay? These days, we the ones with all the money. So, last time, we did not tip him good. Like, y'all, service is terrible. Like, we gave y'all we gave y'all the benefit of the doubt last time. This time, I'm not fucking with y'all because I don't like how y'all not giving us no service. Like, we literally got to sit here and flag y'all down. Like, you should be checking on You should be checking on us. You should be having good customer service. Like, I don't understand so last time, I don't know what kind of tip they got. Shoot, I don't deal with the bill, but I just know my man did not. He was like, I'm gonna tip him a dollar. He was like, a dollar is worse than no tip. And I, he was like, you think I should really tip him a dollar? I was like, no, nah, I don't tip him a dollar. So I don't know if he didn't tip him at all or if he tipped him something, I don't know. But like people, like I don't like when people judge you by your appearance or like, you know what I'm saying? Like they think cause we young, we just sitting at the bar having drinks and we not gonna tip. Now you missed out on your blessing. Cause my man, he be looking, he be looking out. So now you missed out on your blessing because 
you're overlooking us like we just some youngins with no money. Now look at you. So anyways, that's that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my nails when I get home, y'all. And then I'm gonna end the video and go ahead and edit this and get it out. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Boom. A set. Nothing less than period. Don't play with Sarah. Don't play with that girl. This is just so cute. Like I want a yellow today. I want like a bright color. This is so pretty. And then here's my toes. Just the French tip, period. <clears throat> my feet ashy, so we ain't gotta get into all that, but yeah. Get into it, get into it. Now I'm about to work, upload my course, you guys. I had a good day with y'all. I love y'all so much. Prince, where you at? Hey, Prince. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.